Hello and welcome to a multiplayer match by Miner. Let's go. So this one is uh, Black Forest, just a general Black Forest game. I'm playing as the Celts and my friend Matt is playing as the Goths. The enemy, Zitulo, is playing as the Byzantines and the Seku, Ayas, is playing as the Persians. So in this one, Matt and I decide to try a slinging technique where I'll be slinging him and with Celts you get the extra uh, wood bonus so you, you, you get wood much quicker and the Goths main bonus is that they can just mass produce lots of Huskars by use of the barracks and their anarchy and perfusion unique technologies so let's skip things a bit and it just starts off the general way I. I've walled off round, or walling off round this little pond here, but I made sure I got the relic in. And Matt has walled off here. He'd, he'd, as soon as he gets an army, he can just destroy that and work his way in. There's no need for him to sort of wall off around here anyway to try and keep the gold in. Uh, not much need for it. So he's done that. And Zitulo is, he's doing a general startup as well. Got a few people on. Uh, wood and he's getting some more food in. Uh, hasn't set these villagers to go anywhere just yet and the circle eyes is got lots of uh, food I assume. Yeah he's got you know, a decent amount of food coming in but he's uh, spending stuff on villagers so that's fine. Uh, in terms of the population so far if I was just to pause it there, Matt's on 27, I'm uh, the circle eyes on 24, the two lows on 18 and I'm on 27 as well, and this, I'm surprised I'm doing this well against him. I suppose he has got more uh, resources than me, but the main thing is really to build a market, well, in this thing, the main thing is to do, is to build a market, and for me to get as much, well, mainly food and gold to send to him, so he can mass produce those um, huskars. Now, I will need wood as well, obviously, to get farms, and I could do with some stone just to make these walls a bit nicer for added protection and also to send stone to him to, so he can get a castle up quicker because with that, without the castle he won't be able to uh, get anarchy or perfusion to create these horrible huskars. So at this point I'm just getting lots of resources. Um, my market's up here and in terms of market trade we'd get 91 which is quite good indeed and I'm just trying to create loads of villagers uh, and if, you, if I slow things down a bit you can see up there I paid some wood and stone in tribute to a map and I yeah I've got you know just sending just whenever I can I mean I've got lots of wood at the moment here and I don't think I need as much wood anymore but I'm just keeping a bit for some uh, uh, for farms just in case so I've given him some more wood gold and stone and I don't have any food just yet mainly because I'm just trying to I assume I'm spending it on villagers uh, yeah there you go there's a few villagers coming out I'm just trying to get f lots of farms I've got a few people on stone he won't he won't need much more stone he's already got a castle so we can actually just forget about stone but um Oh no, I suppose maybe I need stone in order to just build a castle here, just for protection. Uh, so I don't really need as many people on stone. And I don't know why I'm sending in more stone, but... Oh well, not to worry. And the enemy is walled off here as well, so he should be doing alright. And Red has got you know a few farms. He's still getting all of his food in, if you have a look at him. Uh, yeah, he's got a decent amount of resources. He's researching a handcart there for those extra resource gathering upgrades. The Tulo, he's got plenty of farms over here, got a market. Now, I don't know whether it's just me, but I like to build the market as far away as possible but here. And I notice it's not actually... I don't, I don't think, as far as I know, that it's... Um, you get a certain amount of gold per square, like, um, like one gold per per square away. I'm not. I don't think it's quite that. I think it increases exponentially as you move away. But 
I, I could be wrong, but either way, even if you have the market far away, it it allows for the trade carts to easily go past each other, just a bit easier. Whereas if you have them close, they could be all bundled up, you know, in a huge area, you know, around here, here, here. Whereas if they're more spread out, because the markets are more spread out, then that would work quite well. So if we have a look at Matt, uh, in terms of, well, I've got about 45 people, mo mostly villagers, probably just one scout cavalry, and Matt's got, he's got plenty of gold, so we have to sort out that side. But here he's trying to produce as many Huskars as he can with the upgrades. And yeah, there you go, he's got some more going there, got some more. And obviously the more barracks he builds, the quicker it is to create the Huskars. And he's just capping there. But the Huskars are created really quickly uh, when you get perfusion. And I believe at this point, he is wanting some food from me so that he can upgrade to the Imperial Age in order to get perfusion. And if you have a look at me, I, I th yeah, I kept the food because I wanted to go to the Castle Age. I, I usually do this when I sling someone, I usually get about 50 villagers, or 50 population, and then go to the Castle Age. Because by that point, you can see the amount of farms I've got, and the food coming in is just going up quite quickly, which is quite nice. Now obviously with slings they might not work 100% well because if you look at Matt's score he's on about 4,000 and I'm only on about 3,000 so the enemy at that point would know that I'm weaker so the enemy has to make a choice do they attack the stronger person to avoid him getting stronger or do they attack the weaker person to get him out of the way and but that allows the stronger person to get even stronger. So that's a decision they'll have to make. And you'll see later on whether whether or not they attack us. But there's also ways, if you see my score suddenly going down at the same time as Matt's score is going down, then you should probably know that there's something going on in terms of trading. And that's when you should try and work out whether they're... Um, doing the slinging method because as soon as you know the slinging method then you have to do various bits and pieces in order to try and counter that and he's just going down loads of food so he's obviously creating lots of huskars they're still being produced pretty quickly but he's got um, loads of huskars they're just coming out like that and he's attacking the gate there if we have a look at he's got 110 population ish and I've only got about 50, but I am going to the castle age. And as soon as I'm in the castle age, I get, I can get more town centres and more people. But as any extra food I can, and gold I can get, I try to give to him, at least to a certain point, because he's fine. The circle eyes, pardon me, is doing quite well in terms of resources, but he's not spending it. He's not spending it as much as he should, and he's just got various patches, and he needs to get these villagers to do, do things, and he hasn't got that higher population so that's what he needs to do it could, it could be actually that he was away at this point because i can't see any body moving about and he's got lots of stone coming in i i reckon actually he was away at this point uh, if we have a look at zitulo he's c going to the castle age he's being attacked by the gate here but the watchtower is coming up here uh, it won't be enough because these Huskars, the main thing about them is the huge pierce armour that they've got. If we have a look at his base, it's got a bunch of houses here in Sim City, as I heard, uh, I think it was Zero Empires say, or Barbecue Turkman, one of them. But if you haven't heard of them, go check out their channel because I watch their stuff all the time and it's really entertaining and it's given me a lot of good tips and it was actually because of them that I started commentating on some multiplayer games so thank you you two he's got plenty of wood coming in uh, but he hasn't got enough food coming in so I don't know what he's gonna be creating but he is still learning a few age technically he's creating skirmishes but to attack against something that's got eight pierce armor I don't think that's going to work I'm afraid I mean he hasn't got any extra armor on them whatsoever I mean, zero armor against 12. So they're going to go down in three hits from a Huskar. 
and you can see it's just dropping by one each time there. Now let's have a look at my resources. I do have some food left over. I've got another town centre here, but I am. I think I said to him that uh, to Matt that I'll be creating some villages in order to quickly get up some more food. And that's another problem with slinging. You need to be if you distribute all your food over to your ally as quickly as you can then that allows your ally to quickly boost but it doesn't allow you to quickly boost so what do you do there where or the other option is to not really send anything much at all and and then suddenly send loads but by that time it might be too late and here we have scout cavalry with no melee armor spearmen with no melee armor and the skirmishers also with no melee armor and they're just going to go down you can just see the quickness that they're going down in they're just not going to do anything against these huskars and three batting rams coming in as siege uh, siege equipment and he's putting us some huskars in there obviously to increase the speed that the battering rams go at he hasn't gone to the castle age just yet but if I just speed things up a bit, just to allow them to get in. Here come some knights, but they've only got two, so they'll go down in ten hits from a Huskar. But, just quickly gone, if we go on his health, there you go, just gone like that, and he's... Uh, let's skip on to Matt. These Huskars here, hardly gone down on health, to be honest. So here we go, oh he's capping there but he hasn't got any gold, do I have gold to send him? Yes I've got a bit of gold. Uh, we soon learned that we need to tell he, that he needs to tell me when he needs certain kinds of a particular resource because he can't say, you know, he, he can't need gold and then not say anything. So I think he, he soon learns that he needs to tell me if he needs a particular resource. He's got plenty of food though so he's doing alright on that front. But these buildings are just going down, and what has this, uh, what has Zutulo got? Just villages really, a few trade carts, but apart from market, blacksmith, mill, general resource buildings, he hasn't really got much at all. And as soon as he brings down this castle, that's it. Uh, Zutulo just hasn't really got anything, and just to give a bit. And in come all these villagers, and he has resigned. He realises that he has got no way of coming back. And if you look at re his resources, he hasn't got a great deal of resources in order to combat these. I mean, his best bet, I guess, would have been, you know, a bunch of um, mangonels to try and flatten them, but that wouldn't work to some degree. Just so there's nothing he can really do, and that's the power of a sling. It allows one person to be extremely strong and have a huge army early on. However, it does leave me open. I have no army apart from a couple of monks who are sent to get relics. And I've got a castle here, just for protection. And I know there's not much going on just at the moment, so I'll just get through that. Matt decided to just get rid of all the buildings. Uh, can't do Fog of War because we did it on Explored, but... These villages are just going to go down, no problem whatsoever. And apart from that sheep and these three pieces of wool, that's it. That's all of his stuff gone. Apart from a few, um, oops, apart from a few trade carts as well. But here you see we've both advanced to the Imperial Age, and he's got enough food there. Is he going to research perfusion? I don't know. But if we have a look at me, uh, let's go to my... Oh yeah, I accidentally deleted my castle. I can't remember why, but I just did. Um, anyway, I've got some road raiders here. And they're a pretty formidable unit. And here the Sekulais has advanced to the Imperial Age. But will it be enough? Well, he's got a castle. And he, uh, well, actually, two castles, not going to be great against Huskars. Hey, Matt's got two armies of Huskars that are just coming in and just taking out the people. 
And I didn't quite get that, but there's loads of bodies around. Has the Circle Eyes been deleting these people? I don't know. But I go to up here just to check, you know, if there's anything up here. And this is Scout Cavalry, so that was always worth checking. And what are these? They're still Huskars. He hasn't he hasn't done any armor upgrades or attack upgrades. But could just be he hasn't got enough gold. So wait, let's go back to me. I go up here, find out what's up here, and I find a few villages. And to be honest, this this ended up being a pretty easy match because I think our scores were just slightly above the enemy anyway. But also because of the fact that the sling worked really well. And we've managed to get in before the enemy had produced a decent enough army to try and overcome us. And there's just nothing really that can be done. There's a uh, castle being built. There are a few villages here, but they're going to go very shortly. A bunch of idle villages up here. And what am I getting rid of? I think I've scout, tried to scout out what's up here, get rid of that monk. And I find out that that's it. So I quickly go for these villagers and there's just nothing left to do but the second eyes is playing dirty and is making us try and find all of his people and buildings so that he can actually um, just prolong us or almost like trolling us so I said there I'll do spies in a sec just to see who else is there but this town centre is going to go down no point these batting rams coming in, but I suppose there is actually, but those villagers being picked off, uh, that town centre gone, this town centre needs to go, and that monastery needs to go, so if I just skip through it, and I take out the town centre, and Matt is about to take out the monastery, but he does it much quicker than I do, and as soon as, there we go, and that's the enemy defeated. So that's that's one of my first successful slings, uh, one of the ones that worked really well. And it was fortunate that the enemy didn't try to attack me. I mean, I built a castle, well, I did build one there, just out of the way of Trebuchet's reach. No, no, it would have been hit. It would have been hit by a Trebuchet. But got that castle there, so anybody that tries to come in here will at least be attacked by the castle and well seen by the castle. So that was fine. But I've got, I've just got loads of villages. I ended up creating loads of villages. I didn't really need to. I could have just created loads more road raiders. So I've, I managed to get enough of each resource to provide Matt with a substantial army. And if I if I were to look at Matt's resources all the way through, you would see that at certain points when he's quite low, I end up giving him tons of resource, which is just what he needed. And all oh, that castle's about to go up. And that was very fortunate indeed. And so Matt was able to create a big enough army and he could just overthrow the enemy so quickly that the enemy doesn't have time to react or build an army. So thank you very much for watching. And I will I have some more games to do and I'll hopefully see you there. Let me know what you think about it by liking or disliking and saying whether you uh, and let me know what you think of it in the comments. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.